Hey everyone, Lutz Lounge here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a really cool day to nighttime transition in your clip. Uh, this is gonna be uh, not just a applying an effect, but we're actually gonna sell it a little bit more uh, using uh, some uh, color board effects as well as sound effects to make it appear a little bit more realistic. So this is a very simple effect, let's jump into it. All right guys, the first thing we need to do, we have our clip here, this is our clip, and what we need to do is actually make a duplicate of our clip. Now this is gonna be for a day to nighttime transition, so we're gonna show a little bit of day, and then it's gonna roll into a night scene. If you just just want a uh, nighttime scene converted from a daytime scene uh, you don't need to do this step but we're doing a transition so this is what we're doing here so I'm just going to duplicate it I'm going to hold the option key on my keyboard and click and drag up and that's going to make an exact duplicate so we have two of the exact same clips in the exact same position now what we need to do is actually apply the day to nighttime effect now Final Cut has this built in and it's uh, it's actually a very, very good effect. Uh, we're gonna go to our um, effects browser right here. We're gonna go to video section, click on all, and we're just down here in the uh, search section, we're gonna type in day. And the only result that will come up will be day into night. And so that uh, you can see a kind of a preview of how it might look there. We're gonna click on that, drag it on the top clip, and that's gonna apply the effect. Now it's a fairly decent effect, but we're going to um, finesse it a little bit more, change some settings to make it appear a little bit better. So you can see up here in our uh, uh, inspector here, we have the amount, the match iMovie, the protect skin, and the uh, brightness. So amount is basically kind of what it sounds like. The amount is the uh, amount of the effect applied to the clip. So there's the daytime, there's the effect. Uh, match iMovie, uh, iMovie actually has a built in day to nighttime effect as well. So this is what that effect looks like if you were to do this into iMovie. Uh, if you uncheck it, it's gonna actually apply a different effect. And I actually like the one that doesn't match iMovie. So this is the one we're gonna do here on this one. Uh, protect skin, that brings in a little bit more of the yellow, uh, yellow hue range into the clip just to give it a little bit more color. And then we have the brightness. That's uh, gonna give an overall brightness effect to your clip. So for ours, we're going to keep our amount at 100. We're going to keep the Match iMovie unchecked. Uh, the Protect Skin, we're going to add a little bit, not a whole lot. So probably around uh, 2. I mean, it's it's barely noticeable, but we're just going to add a little bit there. And the Brightness, we're going to play with it a little bit. We don't want it too bright, but probably around there. So that is uh, that, that's, that's pretty good. So uh, this is our uh, scene so far, our night scene right here. And then we have our day scene right here. So uh, now what we need to do is apply a little bit of color board adjustments. This is gonna just help the scene a little bit more. So I'm gonna go to my color board on this top clip and I'm gonna take my exposure, I'm gonna take my blacks, I'm gonna pump them up just a little bit, but then I'm gonna take my midtones and drag them down. And you can see it gives a little bit more detail in the shadow, uh, but your midtones are going down a little bit low, so it makes it a little bit more, uh, a little bit less punchy, I guess, as far as the exposure goes. For the saturation, we're actually take the global saturation, the master saturation. We're gonna take that down just a little bit because if it was a true night scene, um, there's not gonna be a whole lot of really bright saturated colors, so we're just gonna take that down just a hair. Um, and then our color, uh, some people don't like the really overly blue scene that this creates uh, and if you want to change that you can change the the master here you can go around and get more purple um, you can get um, you can go crazier blue uh, but I actually don't mind this because it's a very subtle blue scene uh, so I'll, I will keep it just like that but you can certainly play with your uh, your color balance over here and see see what kind of scene you like but for mine it actually works out pretty well so now what we're gonna do to help sell the sky a little bit more, uh, you can actually do a sky replacement in this video and I've got a video on how to do a sky replacement and it's a very similar process. But what I wanna do is just make this a, a, a clear night sky. Um, I wanna keep a little bit of that that blue there, but the dark part at the top, I wanna I want to make a really dark part at the top just to kinda of insinuate that dark, dark night sky. So what I'm gonna do, is go over here to um, all of my elements that we have here. I'm gonna get a custom black slide here. I'm gonna drag this over right here. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is go over to my effects and I'm gonna go down to uh, the search and type in mask right here. Um, and what I wanna do is look for really the masking. Uh, we'll get the gradient mask, uh, graduated mask. That's what we're looking at. I'm gonna drag this over here to the black. 
and you can see it adds that uh, kind of gradient from the bottom. Uh, what we want to do is get this a little bit higher so it's not interacting with the model as much. So we're going to click on here and we're going to kind of move this around a little bit uh, just to right around there, expand it a little bit more, click on done there. We're going to go back to our effect. Uh, or our graduated uh, filter or graduated mask in our library and we're gonna play with the amount there uh, maybe play with the handles here just to kind of not get it all the way down but you don't want it to be uh, super super off of the uh, off of the screen there so that's pretty much pretty much okay um, I actually don't mind that one if I want to darken the scene I can actually do it with the mask right around there but I think that's good. So you can see it kind of fades into a night sky uh, back there. So uh, overall, I'm really, really, really happy with the effect. So now what we're going to do is create a compound clip of these two right here. So I'm going to select these two, right click, say new compound clip. And we're just going to keep it with the default name day to night clip. Uh, we're going to click OK here. And now this is our effect with our graduated filter applied to our top clip. Now I mentioned we're going to do a, a transition from day to night, so now we need to find a time where we want it to transition. So I'm going to go right probably around here. So right there is where I want it to transition. I'm just going to drag this to trim it right there. So now it transitions into a day to night scene you can see right there. Now we need to apply a uh, just a, a simple cross dissolve will be perfectly fine for this. We only want it from the uh, beginning of the clip and we're going to extend our cross dissolve out just a little and then maybe move this around here. So right now this is what we have. We're going to transition slowly into a night scene right there and looks pretty cool. Sells it really, really, really nicely. So now the last thing we're going to do is apply sound effects. Uh, if you're going to put music over this, obviously you probably won't need to do this as much, but uh, I, whenever I can put sound design in here, I really want to do that. So in our sound here, we're going to apply for the daytime scene, we're going to apply a wind sound effect. So I'm going to type in wind here, um, and we can play with some of these here. We can find out which one we want. Um, you can just kind of give a uh, sample. You don't want anything too crazy. Uh, I'm just listening to some of these. Um, I actually kind of like that one, Wind 5, so if you're looking on your library, I'm going to choose Wind 5, and I'm just going to drag this down, and I'm going to cut it right where the middle of that transition ends, so I'm going to cut it right there, and then I'm going to fade it out with that handle, so I'm just going to fade it out right here, and we can play it right there. We can actually take the amount of the sound down a little bit, because we don't want it too in your face. So something like that all right maybe just a little bit more I'm gonna go to about negative 15 and now for our night scene we can get a little creative with it I actually was looking for a cricket sound um, and I found that there's a um, night frogs and crickets that's automatically in the library so I'm just gonna use that one that one sounds a little bit perfect uh, so now what we want to do is just kind of trim this one a little bit from the front to make it gradually go into the cricket scene trim the back here we don't need any of that and then fade this out and take the amount of the sound down a little bit so that's what we have all right so we need to actually scoot this up a little bit because it's not timed right so let's try here all right so that looks looks pretty good so uh, you saw what the clip looked like before basically looked like this now here is the before and the after into the transition Alright guys, that's as easy as it was. Obviously there's some things you added in here that uh, you don't really need to, uh, but it just helps sell the effect a little bit more. If you're just looking for a simple day to night, that was a way to do it. And you can add in some cool little things like the sound design uh, if you wanted to. But thank you guys for joining me in this video. Head on over to LutzLounge.com. we got a lot of cool stuff over there as far as tutorials goes, Lutz, uh, all, all kinds of fun stuff. So thank you guys for joining me in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.